something a little different today a motherboard for a pixel 4 xl all i have is a motherboard uh apparently the client messed up and knocked off his connector i've already checked some images to make sure he didn't knock off any other components it looks like it's just the connector and it looks like maybe that ground thing they knocked off but what we have today is we need to put that connector back on the board okay got it set up to uh, put it back in my approach here is probably going to be to come from above because there are shields on the bottom and I don't know how hard it'll be to get heat to transfer through the board so I'm probably just gonna have to try and float in from the top uh, carefully uh, let me throw up my expected temperatures for this job as always these temperatures are, are subject to change especially in a situation like this where I've not actually worked on a board uh, pixel X4 XL board uh, so if they're subject to change if the job changes I'm gonna try to start out with the 380 degrees C uh, probably lower airflow like the 20% uh, and then we'll go from there I'm not gonna redo the solder on there I think we'll just try to use the solder that's on there uh, if I feel the need to do it then I will but at the moment I'm, I don't feel the need uh, small nozzle on the heat gun uh, these temperatures as always are brought to you by the Amazon associate links in the description If you click on one of those links and buy one of those pieces of equipment or buy anything there in that session A small portion of that purchase will go to benefiting the channel and it will not cost you an extra dime. I greatly appreciate it All right, switch you back to microscope Get this thing as aligned as possible We'll use a lot of uh, nozzle movement here just to make sure we don't melt the connector. I'm going to start at 20% just until we get something tacked down and then I'll probably go in for a full flow. We're trying 380 degrees first but we may have to raise the temperature. I don't know what this thing can take. We do have other connectors to be concerned about. We'll focus in a little bit more. Like I said, I'm really just looking for a tack down here. So that I can bring the airflow back up. I want some uh, surface tension. So just like on a corner would be fine. I'm trying to avoid that connector though. So I'm going to have to bring the temperature up, it feels like. We're just going to go 480 and try to work quickly. Drag that heat away from that antenna connecting as much as we can. Seeing some tack down there. And bring in the flux. And we're going to bring up the airflow. Just do a quick reflow, make sure it's in place. Okay. I feel like it's gotten soldered in place real good. Nothing else collateral has been damaged. It's good. Good.
good. Okay, and all that's left to do is some cleanup. Okay, well, that was a really quick one. Uh, just a quick uh, a connector replacement on a Pixel, Pixel XL 4, or 4XL, I'm sorry. I, I'm totally not familiar with these uh, devices, but the uh, client had knocked it off and uh, he had disassembled the unit and just asked me to replace the connector. So I am just replacing the connector and it's all good to go. Uh, if you have any questions about this or any other repair, uh, please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it or direct it somewhere that I believe can answer it. And if you enjoyed this video, then I believe you will enjoy that one. And we'll see you there.